a major pest of the orchard house was insects. Primarily aphids, uh, but also scale and red spider. And one of the recipes that uh, Thomas Rivers was quite fond of was uh, using quassia chips, which is uh, an incredibly bitter bark of a tree, which I think has um, properties to kill small insects. I think it's still used in uh, head lice treatment and things like that today. And uh, Rivers recommends uh, making it hot. Uh, how you make this is you boil up about an ounce of chips in a couple of pints of water and a dash of soft soap, which is potassium soap. Uh, and he reckons it's better used hot. Uh, it may be used hot or cold, but the former is to be preferred as more humane, the insects evidently dying a quicker death. So uh, he talks about it being uh, at least a temperature of 80 or as hot as the hand can bear. Uh, the skin of an ordinary working hand a sailor's hand, when off a long voyage, would probably endure several degrees higher than is either necessary or good for the health of the leaves, although water at a temperature of 150 degrees is not injurious. So that mixture is what I've made up here. Um, potassium soap or soft soap is available as a horticultural soap. Uh, this is a, a brand of the same thing. That's just a, a liquid soft soap as it would have been called in uh, Thomas Rivers' day. And quassia is still available as uh, quassia chips. And these are available from uh, health food shops or health food stores. But they're uh, very roughly chopped up. They look like oak chopped up. And uh, I've just boiled about an ounce of those in uh, a couple of pints of water. And there's a couple of ounces of uh, a bit of water and some some of the soft soap in there. So uh, this has cooled down after boiling and that's just about as hot as my hand could bear. So I'm just going to mix those up and that'll be our mixture. 